When your chain of supply goes from here to Shanghai, that's logistics. All new technology UPS brings to me, that's logistics. I'm, I'm, again, I, I'm just so happy for our players. I've, I've been so um, down a little bit after last week because I wanted them to have to have a, a big win, and that was something that was about to happen that was beyond my imagination. And then when it didn't happen, then I said, well, you know, it's all for a purpose. They'll work, we'll work them harder this week, and they'll work harder. And for, for them to come out here and, um, and have that kind of game, I'm so proud of them. As much as the offensive stats were, were, were uh, impressive, it's the defense and the way they played that, that, that I needed to have to happen the most, I believe. That's a team that scored 34 points on Buffalo a week ago, and our defense kept them out of the end zone. In fact, in the second half, the, the, the drives were a little bit long in the first half, and I worried a little bit, but the second half, they just almost all of them were three and outs and had big plays, and, and so just a total dominance by our defense, which gave our offense so many at-bats, and then we, we hit the uh, – we hit our we hit, we hit our big plays against them. The, run, the running game stepped in, and we hit our big plays. Now we were a better football team than them. It's like I think Central Florida was a better football team than us. Uh, but I was so proud of the way we took advantage of those. And, and uh, uh, you know, the uh, offensively we can just keep executing better and better. Let's see where we can go with it. I, 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 there's no way I could have because we played two very very good Division One teams that were you know, preseason picked to win their conference. They physically probably were a little bit overpowering for our team or athletically. And I thought I, I, I thought against the, most of the game against FIU, I began to see it when they couldn't physically run over them. We, we, we made them, we, they couldn't, they had about two drives the first half, you know, so I said they haven't. Um, and then I, um, uh, but, but, the, but I thought that, we, that, that this team would put more points on the board. I'm very, very proud of our defense. I, I, uh, I told Chuck Amata that I actually had a dream this week that our, our 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 school would be not known for its offense, but its fast defense. That we would become known in the future as the fastest defense in the country, and he would be putting together guys that not fast in 40-yard dash time, but their how fast they could get from their place to the point of the ball, and everybody recklessly run to the ball and gang, and so they they're getting faster and faster. And uh, we're not a very big defense, and he's had to put those together. But I think the, the, what we're hanging our hat on is that we will put 11 people faster to the ball than anybody in the country. And I think that's what we're trying to do is offenses try to spread you out and, and put space between defensers, players. We have got to accelerate and put 11 people to the ball. And I thought that's what they're starting to do uh, is really fly to the football.